Hello, welcome back to the House of Valentina. We're so excited that you're here today because we are talking about things that stylish people never own. Oh, we're going there. Oh no. <laughs> I brought it back up. Oh. So you're not gonna hate me at the end of this, you're gonna hate him. You're gonna hate me. <laughs> I know, it's evil. I know my role. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna chat about some things that stylish people never have in their house. And I know what you're first thinking is what I was thinking is, do I have these? Some of these I have most definitely had. We, we have had, we have had. before and now we're like, no. <laughs> so you'll have to let us know if we have completely offended you. Hopefully you'll find a lot of fun in these items and hopefully it'll be a fun little learning tool where we say, yeah, that wasn't the best idea. I'm gonna pass on that one or yeah, glad I avoided that one. Some of these we've avoided. Some of them we have and some of them we haven't. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure you hit subscribe if you haven't already because um, it's fun here and we talk about trends and decor mistakes and give you home tours and all kinds of fun stuff and we just have an amazing community that I think you'll want to be a part of. Yeah. So make sure you hit subscribe and let's jump into today's video. Yeah. <laughs> First one and I can already like my mom, my mom you might want to turn <laughs> a deaf ear on this one. Okay. Okay. What the first thing is like dated upholstery. <laughs> I, I actually wrote down old on my list. <laughs> I was going to say you changed it from old to dated. <laughs> I did. I was trying to be polite, but let's just face it. Uh, my parents had, you, I think yours did too. My parents had this sofa and, and maybe it was like a generational thing. You buy a sofa, you keep it for life. I don't know that you necessarily have to keep a sofa for life. So we grew up with this sofa from the seventies and it had the ugliest fabric you've ever seen in your life. It was really never a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Even back it. in his day. <laughs> yeah, they kept it and kept it and kept it because it was such good quality, right? Yeah. You don't want to let it go. No, and they were right. It was very good quality. That dang thing never wore out. <laughs> it never did. It was I think so one stubborn. Of my brothers may still actually have it. My mom tried putting a, a cover on it, and then that was just even more irritating because oh, those no. things never stay in place. But I think that that dated upholstery just really just makes a room just feel really dowdy. It makes the room feel really like dingy. And it's not just the 70s, like the 80s floral, uh, the oh. 90s plaids. Oh. I mean, there's a lot of culprits out there. And these are things, sorry, mom and dad, stylish people just don't own. <laughs> No, they really don't. Oh my gosh. I'm thinking of these in my head right now. I, I can, can picture them. I can see the wheels moving in your yeah. head. <laughs> and they really, I mean, even the most beautiful sofa in the world, the most beautiful cut, everything about it, it just throws everything off. It really does. It's really bad. And your sofa is such a big part of the room. I'm, it, no matter what room it's in, it's going to probably be the biggest piece of furniture. So when you put something really dated on it, the fabric itself, it's gonna date the entire room. The entire room is gonna feel dingier, it's not gonna feel as elevated or yeah. chic. So stylish people just know that they're either gonna reupholster it or they're just gonna pass it forward to someone else who might want the 70s to come back. Yeah. Or they will reupholster it. It goes well with their Tupperware collection, so just... Hey, you're messing with fire there. <laughs> Yes, I am. Your mom is going to watch this and she's going to leave you nasty comments. <laughs> so are my parents. They love their Tupperware. Let us know in the comments <laughs> if you love your Tupperware as well. <laughs> and if you're not mad at us for you know, ragging on the dated old fabrics. Dated. <laughs> ugly. Yeah. Oh, did I say it? Yep, you did. <laughs> Next up, we've got the rocking chair. And um, we had a rocking chair. We've actually had a couple rocking chairs. We borrowed one from when I was a kid and then somebody gave us a white one, you know, because oh we wanted gosh. to update the look a little bit. And at some point when we moved overseas and I got rid of the rocking chair and then we had our third, I was like, we're not, we're not getting another rocking chair. <laughs> no. Yeah. And I don't know why we thought that in the first place. We're because like, because it's what you're supposed to have like, when you have a baby. <laughs> like, oh, you're pregnant. Where's the rocking chair? Where's yeah. the chair that moves when you sit in it? Yeah. So you and the baby can fall out. Yes. No more of like the kids can mush their fingers under it. They're always like crawling like, and we've, every kid had their fingers mushed. It goes well with the chainsaw that we sat right next to it. Like it was what? just, 
Pencil? <laughs> well, that's another kid-friendly thing you would need in your house. Oh, right. Because you hand carved the chair, or no? Just I'm just saying, a rocking have... chair is literally a death trap. Yeah, well, for I don't digits know if it's on and, the level and... of chainsaw. But... <laughs> I mean, <laughs> either way, I think that stylish people just don't. They just don't. No. I, I, I have to say that personally, I don't like rocking chairs, even on a porch. I don't like them on the porch. I don't like them in the house. Nowadays, if you're having a baby and you want a chair that moves, go for one of those gliders. They've got some gorgeous ones from places like Pottery Barn. Uh, I personally would still never buy one. If I had yeah. a client that wanted a chair that moved, that's what I would suggest. But uh, I used to, I don't think I even have a picture. It's been so long, but I think I used to nurse the kids in like the reclining chair. We had a big leather chair. We had a big leather chair that didn't look like a recliner at all. Yeah. It was like a chair. It was big, but we actually brought it back here. Like we've had this chair the whole time. But yeah, you would like feed the bottle or whatever you were doing in that. You know, or a nurse. Or yeah. nurse, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so that worked just well. No I one was. I didn't. It upset. didn't recline in it. It was just a big kind of comfy chair. Yeah. And I don't. Like half that stuff that they tell you you need when you have a baby. Like when we had Haley, this is off topic a little bit, but <laughs> when we had Haley 23 years ago, we had one of everything they sold at Babies R Us. One of, I mean, I mean everything. Every gadget, everything known to mankind, we had it. And then when we had Landon, we were in Morocco and none of that was available. And it was at that point I realized you don't need any of that to have a baby. <laughs> nope, they're just fine without it, so. He is great. So yeah, I don't think you need a rocking chair. Maybe yeah. if you want a glider, but I just, no. Speaking of the recliner, let's chat for a second about the recliner because I have just said, we own one. You Very literally just offended every person in my family with these first three. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Maybe they don't watch the channel. Maybe not. <laughs> Okay, so I get it, especially I, I am going to stereotype here for just a second. It does seem that the male population predominantly does seem to be the fans of the reclining chairs. It's not just them, we but do. they do seem to promote. And we like to put one. our feet up and relax. They do. There are just some really ugly ones. I felt like the one we had was probably amongst the prettiest that was out there, especially at the time. It didn't have the arm thing on it. You guys remember that? that yep, yep. They have the like coolers. They have coolers, <laughs> cup holders, in-house speakers, I mean, massagers. <laughs> it's got everything. I, I get it that that's like, I mean, yeah, that if, if it was going to be in our house, I'd be like, that has to be like in your like man cave that, that I don't go into. No. I can't stand to look at it. It wouldn't go in my man cave. No, I don't think so. No. <laughs> but I know a lot of guys really love those things. So put them in a separate room. Don't have them in the center of your living room. It's a fight worth fighting, ladies. It is a fight worth fighting. <laughs> it really is. And just let them go. <laughs> yes. There are so many other ways to be comfortable when you sit. Yeah, and we did get rid of ours. It just was so big that it didn't fit the scale of the house. It just did not. It's a great it chair. It overpowered the room. Yeah. So we just scaled our chairs down so that we could get the kind of furniture into the room that we have. So generally recliners are not that great of an idea. However, they have come out with some new ones, like you were saying, where all the mechanisms essentially are hidden and Pottery Barn's coming out with them where they don't even have like a flap or anything i don't know how they do it they've got they've waved their wand of magic that's over cool. them you don't know their recliners i would suggest checking those out that's cool yeah this is actually one that our son parker mentioned and i thought that was so funny he's 19 he loves interiors loves architecture and i was asking cool. him what do you think stylish people never have in their house and he was like gold lights <laughs> and i was like we have a few gold lights. <laughs> oh God. But he really was talking about like the 80s, yeah. like 70s and 50s, like that old brass kind of oh, look. Oh, super shiny brass type yeah. of stuff. Or like just like that 70s with all the, the you know, like the old glass and oh, like, yeah. or like, you know, some that have like the really like ornate look to them. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. Stylish people usually don't have those. They, stylish people know that their lighting is a huge element in their space. Yeah. They just know that the big pieces of furniture and then the lighting, like these are the things that really define a space. And if you change every single thing out in your room and you don't change out the lighting, it's going to downgrade the whole space. It's like wearing a great suit with really ugly shoes. That's true. Like, <laughs> that is really true. <laughs> you always notice the shoes first. Well, I don't, but yeah, I a lot do. of people do. Yeah. And it's the same thing with lighting. You're like, oh, what a pretty, oh. Yeah, ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, what happened there? <laughs> and a lot of people are like, oh, it's vintage. And I'm like, yeah, I don't care. <laughs> no, it's just old. It's, it's called just, old. Yeah. I mean, I'm not vintage, I'm old. Yeah. 
So there you go. I think that that lighting really does just make the space just feel super dated. Yeah. Just really just drags the whole design down. And every now and then you might find something that's amazing. That's We're not opposed to vintage items, but I do think that you have to choose them carefully. Yeah. So, yeah. And then if you have, I, a lot of my clients want to salvage their lighting and I'm like, it has to go. Like you donate it, somebody else will Melt want it, it down, make, uh, make a key out of it or something. I don't think you can with most of them, honestly. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just donate them. Somebody else maybe will want it, but if you're wanting to create a really stylish home, I think you need to pass on the dated lighting. Switch it out, go to somewhere like Amazon. I've got a whole board over on my Amazon storefront loaded with gorgeous yep. finds. The chandelier that we have in our bedroom mm -hmm. is, proof yep that is proof that you can find absolutely gorgeous lighting it's really affordable and it just it transformed our room it really did and we had like really dated light Ooh. like all the lights in the house were super dated when we everything was builder gray like oh or she switched it out to something like grandma chic so yeah no. minus the chic yeah i think so but i'm trying to be polite <laughs> <laughs> just pass on it okay take it down <laughs> switch it out <laughs> all right we've got wood paneling Mm. Again, yeah. my childhood. I feel like, yeah, we're, we're ragging pretty hard You're on the You're ragging 70s. pretty hard on the 70s and 80s. Back off. I know, it was a rough time period. We had parachute pants and great music. Yeah. We did contribute something. Hey, you know, the music was great. The music was great. Music was great. The hair, not so bad. You know, it was just kind of iconic. I kept the 80s hair. You did. Well, Flock of seagulls going on up here. Is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I remember the paneling. I remember going to friends' homes and literally the entire house would be like paneling everywhere. Yeah, I, I mean, it was meant as an upgrade, honestly. Like you would go to the hardware store and they'd have stacks of it, you could just buy it. I remember that myself, but I, I would Probably imagine. because you weren't born, you weren't born yet. <laughs> <laughs> There's an age difference. Yeah, there Cougar. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what am I called? What's an old? You're a silver fox. Silver fox. <laughs> Cougar. <laughs> I know you feel sorry for me right now. <laughs> well, either way, that is something that a lot of times people want to try to salvage and they don't want to pay the money to either sheetrock over it or take it down. And stylish people just know it just doesn't look good. You can't move a gorgeous sofa into that room, no matter how much nope. you spend on the rug or nope. the lighting or anything else. If you did not take care of the walls and get them looking fabulous and updated and you try to leave that paneling, you're gonna regret it. It's you're just gonna not gonna it. look good. Yep. It's, it does not look good painted. I don't care what anybody says. Every time I have a client or a friend, they're like, oh, I painted my paneling. And I'm like, oh, that's nice. And I'm like, <laughs> inside, I'm like, it looks like crap. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yep. Like, goes goes well I'm with the rocking like, chair. Like, which of my friends is going to watch this and then be mad at me because I didn't tell them what I really thought. But it's a little easier to do it when they're not standing here. That's true. Um, yeah. So I think that the paneling just looks awful. Let's talk about that as actually another thing Parker mentioned too. Uh, I love it. Um, it was already on my list and it was like the first thing I thought of and that was the toilet carpet. <laughs> Who came up with that? Who's thinking, know, so you know what would make that toilet even better? <laughs> wall-to-wall -wall carpet, carpet on it yeah and don't forget you gotta have the matching rug that goes around the toilet that way when you pee you don't see it this is like a dude thing we women do not generally pee on the carpet around there but you know if you, you're living with the man i mean it has a handle you should be able to manage it better <laughs> <I> but... <laughs> it has a handle it is a handle so i don't get it why can't you get it into the toilet <laughs> oh <laughs> I don't get it. Just ew. I don't Why understand. Why would you put carpet around the toilet? And then it had the my grand who it was a random person also had padded seats. Oh. So like you oh sat down God. and it's like that's bouncy. That's a good idea. I think we should bring that back. No. Padded. no. Yeah, because you could just sit down and like. Oh God. <laughs> but then you sit down. Sometimes it's already pre-warmed for you. Ew. <laughs> right. So stylish people don't have padded toilet seats. They don't. Pre-warmed ones. <laughs> I wish you were going like with those fancy Japanese ones. <laughs> the bidets that like talk yeah, to you and stuff. I know, yes. I'm like, ah, oh, that looks involved. <laughs> yeah. I don't want a, a manual. <laughs> no. <laughs> Give you something to read while you're sitting there. It will. <laughs> but either way, stylish people just don't have those. I mean. I don't think they do any of those carpets. Like any of those sets or anything. No, 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 no. You really never want more than like one rug in a room. You don't need three or four, especially on surfaces. 
That was very general, and I don't really know that I agree with that statement. <laughs> well, you don't need a shower thing, and then one around the toilet, and then one on oh, the toilet. I'm talking about the bathroom. Yeah, bathroom. Well, you just said a room. So no, I meant the, the bathroom. I'm, I'm focused you know? on the bathroom. Yeah, I, those things just creep me out. So, yeah, I would just pass on those. Yeah. Let's talk about plastic outdoor furniture, because we have definitely had that, and we definitely understand that it is budget-friendly, and it is tempting when you walk into Walmart, and it's like $14.88 for a chair. And it's eternal. Those things never never go they away They never go back to nature <laughs> they literally don't <laughs> they are eternal millions of years after we're all dead there's going to be stacks of chairs at walmart <laughs> yeah, they're going to last it's going to hold out the aliens are going to be like what were these for yeah hurricanes come and go and everything else but the chair lasts okay yeah. it is durable we will give it that and you can wash it down but it just is it's just kind of tacky like stylish people we you know just over the years we've I would say that we've been blessed to be able to, to go to it. And, and honestly, I hope you realize that we are just having a bit of fun. We are. And if you have any of these things, we're not going to come take them from you. And we're cool with you keeping them. Okay. It's up to you. Besides the toilet rug thing. That I might. That has to go. <laughs> But if you got plastic furniture outside, we're probably not going to come take it, okay? But I just feel like... We're not going to come take it. Let's just be not. very, very clear. If it disappears tomorrow, don't accuse her. <laughs> <laughs> and Valentina, she found my address and came to my plastic furniture. <laughs> yeah, I've seen a lot of people that do it for like outdoors especially, and it really, really is just it's hard to look at when it's on the porch, especially. It's bad enough like in the backyard. Yeah. Uh even the kid size ones are really tempting. We've definitely had those too. Well, um, inevitably it seems like the stickers they put on them are also made of like eternal glue. That is so, so most of the time the stickers are still on them. That's so true. Yeah. It's so true. You like, cannot get that stuff off there. No, you can't. You can't. So you're stuck with like a half ripped off sticker oh. on the back of the chair. That's really classic. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> they do have Gooby Gone if you've gone this route and you do want to keep your chair. Go for Gooby Gone. They sell it on Amazon. You just get it a really flamethrower. That could melt it. See, we could melt it. You, you melt go. it and you make a necklace. Yeah. What? <laughs> I don't know. First thing that popped in. You wonder why this man does not wear jewelry. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. maybe don't don't do the plastic jewelry thing either. I no. Mean, yeah. No. But there are a lot of options. Like there are so many options nowadays that if you don't want to spend for metal or wood or whatever, there's yeah. so many other options now. I will say, like there is some seriously good stuff out there. Target has gorgeous collections. Yes. Walmart, gorgeous collections. We have a whole outdoor section on our Amazon storefront. So oh, yeah. don't think us, you know, like we're, we're not being kind because you actually can find some sets. And we understand, like we had the plastic chairs. They were actually given to us when we were in Morocco. Mm -hmm. And Fred had given them to us because we had nothing to sit on when we were outside. I mean, I was like, we can just have a picnic. We don't have to have these. Like, we'll just put out a picnic blanket. Yeah. That's what we did when we got here before we had mm -hmm. furniture. We just put a blanket down and we didn't buy the plastic furniture this time around. We're like, well, let's just pass. But I do understand that I would rather have a camping chair because then you could take it back inside. I, you know? Yeah. Like if you really need something, why not like get a camping chair that you could take to ball games and, you know, That's true. Camping. That's a good idea. I would do that if you're saving up for something nice. But there are plenty of places that have really beautiful pieces. And they're affordable. It's more affordable than ever before. Yeah, and yeah. Oh, we have Ikea. Ikea oh, yeah. My gosh. sells amazing outdoor furniture. We A lot have, of those are wood and they're really, really pretty. They are, but their aluminum is insane. Oh, yeah. We have owned chairs from Ikea and they're like that aluminum stuff. It's been over, it's been like, no, it's been 12 years. Yeah, and they're still outside. They're still they're, outside. They're downstairs near my office. So. Yep still using them yeah. so they are amazing and yeah definitely good places to go yeah. just don't do the plastic sometimes you just gotta let go of these things and um just move forward sometimes i think it's good for us and i should not have gotten a swivelly chair <laughs> because blue. i'm nervous i'm a swivelly normally i'm the fidgety one <laughs> yes and i'm sitting still for my once. foot's falling asleep <laughs> i'm trying to wake it up what are you doing <laughs> I fell asleep oh. and then I got nervous about doing these videos because they make me so anxious because I don't want to hurt somebody's feelings. If they really like something, then I got I, I got so upset that we didn't do videos like these for a really long time. So right. They make me stressed out because I don't actually want to be mean to somebody who's really enjoying something. So 
as we say in all of our videos, we're here just having a bit of fun. If you like something, then keep it. We're not gonna come take it away from you. And I think that you should create a yeah. home that you love. We say that in every video. But people ask us, they're like, how do I make my home look beautiful? How do I whatever? And so we're just, we're just giving the answers to those things. Right, we're just being kind. That's what he was trying to say. We are just being kind. No, actually... This is actually, our community asks for these videos because they want videos that, that sh like point out the things that sometimes when you, you become, it, it's like nose blind, right? Like you stop seeing things in your own house mm. and then you're like, oh, I'm gonna take that down. I'm gonna put up a nice, beautiful piece of art. And you're like, I should have done that years ago, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Like that's why you're watching interior design videos. You wanna improve your home and uh, quality of life. And I think that these are little things that you can do that really make a big difference. Huge, I love yeah. it. And it's and unsanitary to have those carpet things. Yeah, it that. really is. So it's just not good just for the entire planet. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> well, those are just a few things. It was quite a few this time. But it I was. hope you just got some food for thought and a little bit of fun and uh, let us know if you do like these kinds of videos and if you want us to do more because we had to stop at some point. Yeah, let us know what else you would like us to offend you with. <laughs> we'll come up we with it. We love you guys. We love getting to hang out, to chat about this fun stuff. Hope you guys had fun. Make sure you hit subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, bye. bye. <laughs>